Good morning, Pokemon X and Y Y5 battle fans, because it is actually 1.30 in the morning where I am right now as I'm recording this battle. But, I promised you two videos a day, and technically since I haven't gone to bed, I guess it's still Friday. But I'll have two videos for Saturday as well. <clears throat> now, this battle right here is against a very good friend of mine. His real name is Robert. And I promised you guys I would have new pokes, right? Well, here they are. Like, this is five of them, and I have about, like, ten. And they're all IV bred, they're all with their correct move sets, except for Greninja, because he's so diverse, I could just change him up whenever I want. And my opponent is going with an Electros, a Rapidash, an Azumarill, a Greninja, a Mega Lucario, which he actually doesn't Mega Evolve, just because he saw I didn't have a Mega. Now, I told him that he didn't have to do that, but he did that on his own, so it's whatever. And then he has his Ferrothorn. Now, I battled this guy so many times, I know for a fact, he starts off... I'm pressing play right now. He starts off with his Ferrothorn to get up rocks, spikes, whatever. And I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not going to let that happen this battle. Because that is how he's beaten me like 700 times before because of stealth rock damage. So I'm not going to let it happen. So I lead out with my Espeon. And he didn't know that I had Magic Bounce Espeon. That was my own kind of little trick. I go for the Future Sight just to see how much damage it would do. Goes for the Stealth Rock. And of course, Magic Bounce just bounces that bitch right back. Now right here, I was like, you know what, okay, maybe this team is how I predicted it to be, and it's pretty good. I go for a Psychic, and that, that didn't really do a whole, whole lot of damage, but you know what, I was okay with it. He then goes for a Power Whip, and that takes me down to 37 HP, so that did a lot of damage, but you know what, I tanked that shit from a Ferrothorn. That's awesome. So I send in my Ninetales, and my Ninetales gets up the sun, and now my main goal after my Espeon was so low on health, was to get him back out into the sun and to use Morning Sun. That was my main goal. So right here, he takes the Future Sight attack, and it takes him down to, to like, a little bit below half. Now here, he knows that none of his team members... Actually, yeah, that's a total lie. I don't know why he stayed in. Because he could have preserved it for later, and then used Stealth Rocks later. But I guess he was just kind of bored with it, and, like, sacked it away. Get the Shell Bell health back. He sends out his Electros. Now, his Electros, I didn't know what it would do. So, I was kind of just, like, feeling it out. I went for a Nasty Plot so I could uh, get my special attack, like, through the roof. Which, by the way, Nasty Plot Ninetales is, like, heaven on Earth in the Pokemon world. It's that good. Gets the Paralysis on me, and I go for the Flamethrower, and that knocks out his Electros. So, that's two down. Just by using my Ninetales. So that's pretty awesome. I'm really happy with my Ninetales. It's doing some work still. Oh, I need some more water. So then his Greninja. Now, I figured he'd go for a Waterfall or something like that. So I want to switch out, like, to something that could take it. Now, the first thing that came to my mind was my Greninja. But he actually goes for the Dig. Now, I've never seen Dig on a Greninja. It's fine. I mean, it works for him. Like, I'm I'm applauding him for it. That, that really worked for him. I want to switch out of there as soon as possible, and I go into my Ninetales. Now, the reason why I did is because the sunlight faded. I wanted to get it back up, him to knock out my Ninetales, and for me to send in my Espeon again and get off the morning sun. Goes for the dig, and that knocks me out. Now, in the process of me switching in and out, I realized that his Greninja probably has the Night Slash. So I was like, you know what? not going to risk it. I'm just going to go back into Crawdon. Now, my Crawdon does carry the superpower Dragon Dance knockoff Aqua Jet Choice Bandit. Bam! He's a monster. I go for the superpower against a Flying-type Greninja. Look at this. Ready? Bam! 80% 80, 80 of his health down from an unstabbed, non-adaptability Choice Bandit superpower from... Oh, so good. So I decided to send him my Malamar, predicting him to go for a, um, another Acrobatics. And look how much damage this does. That did nothing compared to what it should. And he goes for a dig. Now, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm okay with that. He can, he can go for a dig. I'm just going for foul plays right now to try to finish him off. He goes for a dig, and this will do literally 2 HP. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it'll do more like 60. But still, that did nothing. I go for a superpower. And that knocks him out, and I get the plus one attack, defense, and I believe speed. No, just attack and defense. Doesn't do speed. That was my B. 
So the sunlight fades, and now I'm like, damn it, now I have no chance of restoring my, whatchamacallit's, health. So I was kind of screwed. But here, I decided to take a risk, and I go for a superpower again, but he goes for the bounce. So that means my superpower is going to miss, and I'm like, damn it, you did so freaking well, I'm proud of you. But he misses the bounce attack on the face of my Malamar, and I go for a superpower, and that's going to knock out his bitch horse flaming ass on fire looking rapid dash thing so rapid dash dies and i love the way rapid dash looks whenever it faints because it looks so stupid now here he goes into his azumarill and now i didn't know what to do here so i go for a pluck the reason why i run pluck on my malamar is for the pesky little trevenants that like to carry citrus berries or lum berries or things like that and i live with a one hp from a play rough azumarill now that is fantastic. Here he goes for the Aqua Jet, and that takes me out, of course. But you know what? I'm fine with it. I live to play rough from an Azumarill. That's insane. He's going to my Espeon. I know he's going to go for an Aqua Jet. I was hoping maybe I could live it with a couple HP, but you know what? That didn't really work out. So right now, I believe I've taken out two of his, three of his, and he's taken out two of mine. So it's it's whatever. I go into my Umbreon because I know my Umbreon can tank anything. I want to get off some Dark Pulses, and I want to just whittle this thing down. Now I'm I'm really, really, really considering making this a purely support Umbreon with like Toxic, Wish, Protect, and Curse. Or um instead of um who wish I I'm, I'm thinking about using baton pass. So that way I can get some stuff off. But I don't know yet. I'm still playing around with my Umbreon set. I keep going for Dark Pulses here, just trying to get off some damage, so whenever my Greninja comes in, or my, um, whatchamacallit, my Claw, I keep wanting to say Claudia from watching <laughs> Shady Penguin, that's not his name, his name is, um, Claw something, whatever, I don't care, <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about, knocks me out with a final play rough, and I'm like, you know what, fine, I'm gonna go into my Greninja, because I know I can outspeed, because I am choice scarfed. I'm Choice Scarf to outspeed Grin um, Lucario's. That's my main thing that I want to outspeed with this. Go for the U-turn. Now look at that damage. He lived with 10 HP, ladies and gentlemen. 10 HP. Think about that. That's bullshit. Made me so mad. I go in my Crawdon predicting to play rough, and I knew he would knock me out. Now, right here, I'm, I feel like I'm screwed because I have a Greninja. He has a priority Azumarill and the Lucario, so I figured I was screwed. He goes for the Aqua Jet, and that does way too much damage for me being resisted. It did way too much. I think it was because it was a crit, obviously, and that would have done that would have helped me out a little bit more than what it did. I go for a waterfall, finishing it off. Now there I was really contemplating whether I should go for a power-up punch and raise my attack by one to knock out his Lucario in one hit, or to go for a waterfall for a clear knockout. I didn't know what to do. So here he goes into his into his um, Lucario, and now I'm locked into Waterfall, so I just have to keep praying that he doesn't knock me out with a close combat or anything like that. But he goes for the Swords Dance first turn. Now I'm like, bro, that that wasn't a good move. That that was that was where he lost right there. He's going for that. So he goes for the Bullet Punch. It does not knock me out because I do resist it. I go for the final Waterfall, and I knock him out. So that is the end of the battle against Robert. I ended up winning with a 1-0. I hope you guys really enjoyed the new um, team, I guess you could call it. It's not really a team. It's just some new stuff that I made that I put together. As you can see, it really has its weaknesses because I have four dark types on my team. So that's... Oh, well. I'm going to be switching them out for, like, Jolteon and a Drizzle thing to run, like, a mixed weather set. Um, if you could leave a like, a comment, and a subscription down below, I'd be very grateful. Um... And I hope that you guys enjoy the new Pokemon that I post tomorrow. Make sure you guys have a fantastic weekend.